it's our Wellness Wednesday, and we wanted to start right off with talking about a part of the body we may not think about very often, and we should be. It's our liver. It's like a little factory in our body, and it has hundreds of functions, including removing all the waste products, processing nutrients, and medicines. So with tips on how to keep our liver healthy and happy, please welcome holistic nutritionist Andrea Donsky. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the liver. Um, we, it's really important. And you talk Very. to me all the time about the liver. Yep. You've talked to our producers all the time about it. You're like, I really want to do this on the show. Yes. And it's important that we talk about it because it's almost like this neglected area. We don't think about it as much as we should. Exactly, so it's the master filter in our body. Yes. So it's a major detox organ. So it does things like you said, it also cleanses the blood. It metabolizes hormones, right? right? It makes bile to help us with digestion. So it does so many important things, but because we're living our life, we don't live in a bubble, yeah. it can get overloaded and overworked pretty easily. Okay, so walk us through what we need to be doing. Perfect. Uh, starting with, I think, is this an example? This is an example. Of what our liver is doing, because I'm scared already. <laughs> right, well, because we're so busy, right? We overindulge, we do so many things, and like I said, we don't live in a bubble. Yeah. Our liver is working hard all the time, and there's different ways that our liver actually can tell us if it needs a little bit of extra TLC. So our okay. liver is the only organ that actually regenerates. Oh, so a little beautiful. can go a long way. So for me personally, I yeah. know when my liver needs a little bit of attention when I gain weight and I can't yeah. take it off easily. Oh. So I know I'm like, okay, my liver needs a little bit of help. Okay. Also, I'm more angry and irritated than I normally am. Right. That's because anger is the emotion of the liver. Is it? It is. It's the emotion. The liver, liver. is angry. It, well, it's the emotion that's associated with it. Angry liver. So okay. exactly. So I, I mean, obviously, this is to show us an illustration. So this yeah. is. Think of our liver as a car engine filter. Right. So this is from my car. It's an actual. Oh, wow. this, I went and I had it changed. Can you so tip we changed that up for us. Sure. So that's we change the hard work and filter. Right. So we yeah. change. The, the filter in our car, right? Yeah. But when it comes to our liver, we actually can't go to the store and pluck a new liver off the shelf. Would be nice. And create a new one, right, and, and put a new one in. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to keep it clean, and there's different ways we can do that. This is really the filter we want to have, folks. Exactly. I mean, as much as you possibly can, you want to keep it clean. Right. So this looks good. So there are ways we can do it on a gentle, like a more yeah. gentle way. So every single morning, I know we've talked about this before. All the time. Start your day off with lemon water. Mm -hmm. Really easy to do. So you want to take a whole lemon, yep. and you want to squeeze into to two cups, so 16 ounces of water. Yeah. As soon as you wake up, drink it. Yes. It'll help to flush everything out of your body. And the reason why lemon is so important is that it actually activates the detoxification enzymes in our liver. Okay. So it has an act, it actually has a job. Okay. The other thing we want to keep in mind is not to eat fat until noon. That oh. way it allows your liver to do its other things other than making bile and digesting fat. What if it's your fat in your uh, Bulletproof coffee? I would say, again, no. again, and again, this is more like if you want to do a gentle liver cleanse on a regular fair. basis to yep. do that. That's fair. The other thing you can do is you can even do a, a more substantial cleanse like the one I'm doing now. I'm on day seven of day nine of the medical medium, their liver 369. Yeah. And you eat foods that are really li liver loving foods, mm -hmm. like apples and lemons and sweet potatoes and asparagus. All yeah. of this help to regenerate our liver and keep it working optimally. So this is why you're so happy. This is why I'm so happy. Right? See, I'm cleaning my liver. She's on her liver <laughs> detox. It's not angry anymore. <laughs> Okay, what about here? You should have seen me a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there, there are certain foods that our liver does love. So we'll yes. call it our liver-loving foods. Okay. For example, green tea has antioxidants called catechins that help to improve the health of our liver. Okay. Blueberries and cranberries, they have anthocyanins, that, again, really good for our liver. Mm -hmm. Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Right, so they have yeah. sulfur that helps our liver cleanse, good. which is great. Dandelion is about bitter, yeah. so it stimulates our liver and allows it to do its job, yes. but also it has other nutrients, including fiber, that again help to remove waste from our body. Lovely, and garlic too, which is a tastes amazing. Amazing, so garlic has allicin, which mm -hmm. is so good for it, it also has sulfur, mm -hmm. which helps to cleanse our liver as well. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, now I know and I take turmeric daily, so that's a big one. Right, so turmeric is, so there are still some roots and there's some some herbs that can yeah. help as well. So we've got turmeric, like you said, it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that help to support our liver, which is right. great. So you can have the root itself, you can put it into, you can juice it, you can put it into your food, cook with it. Yep. Or if you want something that's a little bit more potent and absorbable, you can take it in supplement form. Lovely. So this is Dr. D's Ultrabio Turmeric. And what it does is it has a technology that actually helps us absorb it better and it stays in our bloodstream for 24 hours. 
The other cool thing about it is that it uses the whole root. So not right. only are you getting curcumin, which is a very well known active ingredient in turmeric, right. but you're getting 250 other active ingredients as well to help support our liver and our general health. Amazing. Which is amazing, okay. yeah. And what do you have here? So this is milk thistle, also a very oh. well-researched ingredient or okay. herb for our liver. It helps to regenerate our liver cells, yeah. and it also helps to protect our liver. Well, how do you use a milk th thistle? So you could actually, you can make a tea with it, or okay. I'm going to show you a supplement that contains it, that okay. you can actually take it in an easier way. So globe artichoke, yep. another thing, again, works similarly, similarly to milk thistle. It helps yeah. to regenerate our liver. It also helps with liver cells to protect them, which is great. Fantastic. Black radish. Look how ah, beautiful this is. So this I is black radish. That. So this is black radish also is a root vegetable that has yeah. sulfur, again helping with supporting our liver. Excellent. Okay, now this uh, is this are these beets? So these are beets. Beets are really good for you. Beets are so good so for our good liver. For so like lemon, very similar to lemon, is that yeah. it activates the detoxification enzymes in our liver. Yes. So you can have your beets roasted or you can actually Put them into a juice you can juice them yeah so i've been on my liver cleanse i've yes. been having my beet juice and yeah. i have the one from revitasize nice. they've got different flavors that you can have and they're all cold pressed and organic so i'm a big fan of actually drinking a lot of my nutrients yes. but if you prefer to eat them you can right but there are different ways that you can do it it's a nice fast way to get it in exactly and then finally so like you said tracy like if you don't want to actually eat them or make teas with it you can have all of these ingredients in supplement form okay so this is liver from new roots herbal so it has liver loving ingredients that help to support the function of the liver. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you take it once, you take one capsule three times a day, mm -hmm. and you take it for a minimum of three weeks, and that's where the research is. You wanna take it for three weeks, yeah. then you can take it for up to three months, take a break for three months, okay. and then you could take it again as needed. Now I imagine these are the things maybe you don't be having for your exactly. liver cleanse. So, so there's some good old white bread here. White bread, trans fats, butter. white sugar, yeah. alcohol, of course, which is very well known, right. having negative effects on the liver, I know, right? <laughs> Apparently it's not that good for your liver. <laughs> liver cleanse. I don't know. I've heard it's that It's not before. on my liver cleanse, no.